The next video is the next instalment for Animals Are Smarter Than Jack and we're up to Dingy Dunkings. When we started our cruising life from Fremantle, Western Australia on our catamaran yacht Stray Cat, we took our tabby house cat Wolfgang with us. He was 10 years old at the time and had never been on a boat before, although he liked travelling in the car. Our first stop was Shark Bay and to take Wolfgang and the dinghy for a walk on the deserted shore. We had a harness and long string in case he decided to explore the countryside and not come back. Although he enjoyed scratching on logs, digging in the sand and eating grass, he didn't like the harness at all. Wolfgang naturally wanted to stalk in the cover of the beach scrub while we enjoyed walking on the exposed beach sand. This led to a battle of wills. Wolfgang would head to his side of a bush with us holding the lead on the ocean side. After a big standoff, you guessed it, we inevitably gave in and walked on Wolfgang's side of the bush. Once he established who was boss, he would grudgingly walk on our side of the obstacles for the rest of the walk. I think it was more like him taking us for a walk. When returning to the yacht in the dinghy, Wolfgang was very eager to get on board. He developed an unrealistic perception of his ability to leap, and before we were close enough, he would hurdle from the front of the dinghy, his front paws clinging and clawing the slippery deck, and fall into the water. He could swim very well and occasionally did a lap around the boat before we fished him back on board. This led to Wolfgang reluctantly having a freshwater shower to get all the salt off his fur. After numerous dunkings, Wolfgang began to associate the dinghy rides with the indignity of his unexpected swims. Sometimes he would make it, and sometimes not. One day, while anchored in a bay inside an igloo reef, my husband Graham took Wolfgang to shore for his walk and to get some sand for his tray. Wolfgang maintained his stubborn streak. Graham put him in the dinghy ready for the trip back to the yacht and when he went to pull the dinghy down to the water, Wolfgang escaped back onto the beach. This happened several times. He had decided he wasn't going in that dinghy again. From my vantage point on the yacht, I was amazed to see Wolfgang escape from the dinghy once more, this time choosing to wade out into the water with little waves lapping around his legs. This didn't deter him and he started swimming out towards me on the yacht anchored in the bay. He'd only swum about 10 metres when he must have decided it would be too far for him to reach the yacht, so he turned around and swam back to the shore. Wolfgang jumped straight back into the dinghy, very pleased to be taken back to the yacht in comfort. This dinghy didn't seem too bad after all. We don't bother with a harness now as we leave him on the beach to scratch, dig and relax while we go for a walk. When we return, Wolfgang will always be waiting under the shade of a bush or rock near the dinghy, making sure he doesn't miss the boat. He now waits until the dinghy comes right up close to the yacht before jumping aboard, and most of the time he makes it. Wolfgang is 15 years old, very healthy from his fresh fish start, and loves cruising. And that ends that installment for Animals Are Smarter Than Jack.